Hey guys, more ice cream because of course I'm just an ice cream channel at this point. Uh, yeah, look, I go to the store, I check the non-dairy section and sometimes there's new ice cream and there just happened to be a lot of new stuff recently, the Ben and Jerry's. And now this so delicious has five new flavors as part of this like I don't, what are they even calling it? It's like this art, food is art thing. Um, you can tell from the packaging. The packaging is awesome. I love it so much. It's beautiful. They say it's limited edition. Why? It looks so good, but whatever. It's just packaging. I guess it doesn't really matter. So the whole thing is they're supposed to be like classic combinations. Although they're not all combinations. The cold brew, it's just like cold brew coffee. The base for the ice cream, three of them are coconut based. I think the cold brew the peach and the key lime are all coconut based. The other two, the bananas foster and the blueberry cardamom are cashew based. And yeah, I bought all of them. I'm trying to remember how, well, I remember the first one I tried was the cold brew coffee, which I was very excited about. If you like coffee, you'll like it. It's quite bitter for me. I don't know why. It reminds me of the last time I went to Cedar Point. We always stay at one of their resorts, Hotel Breakers, that's like on the property. So you can just leave the hotel and literally just walk into the park. It's awesome. Um, and they added a Starbucks in the lobby. Okay, fine, except not fine, because in doing so, they also removed the coffee pots from the room. So the only way you can get coffee is to go down to the Starbucks and pay $3 whatever for coffee which like, okay, fine, except everyone has to do that. So of course there's a long line. And then the best part is that half of the line is made up of like kids, like teenagers standing in line at eight in the morning to get coffee that they don't need. And of course the coffee they're getting is like the bullshit frappuccinos that are like 90% sugar with whipped cream on top. So you've got all these like giggly little girls with their braces and they're all excited about their candy essentially. And then the rest of us adults are just standing there so pissed off that we have to wait 30 minutes in line to get our drug that we need to function. Pointless story, but it just reminded me of this ice cream because I feel like most coffee ice creams are really like those frappuccinos, right? Like they have a little bit of a coffee taste. Well, like the Ben and Jerry's one which I really like. It's got a little bit of a coffee taste, but it's not really bitter. It's just mostly sweet and delicious. And I think there's caramel in it, whatever. Whereas this one is like, hey, you like coffee? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's sugary too, but it definitely has that bitter coffee flavor. So I guess the point is I'm one of those obnoxious little girls <laughs> in this instance, because I, I just don't, I don't like it. I want the bullshit frappuccino. But the texture is awesome. And again, this is one of the coconut based, um, and I'll just say right up front, the texture for all of these is really good, super creamy, even right out of the container, right out of the freezer, not letting it sit for five minutes or so. Um, I mean, obviously it's a little bit harder to scoop, but that texture is still super creamy. I didn't get any sort of iciness with these at all. And then next, I think I tried the Bananas Foster, the chocolate drizzled, is that what it's called? Chocolate drizzled Bananas Foster. Oh my God, this one is so good. It's so banana-y and there's a little bit of vanilla flavor. And then the chocolate, I think I've talked about this before. It's my favorite kind of chocolate texture when it's that really thin flaked chocolate that's like crunchy, but it just kind of falls apart. So it's not a, a chip, right? It's really, really thin. And it's got that going on and I just love it so much. It reminds me, I think it was Briar's mint chocolate chip ice cream that again, it wasn't chocolate chips, it was that flake. Yeah, so this, this one, oh, it's so good. I think when I was trying it, I think I even said it reminded me of the Baskin Robbins bubblegum bubble gum ice cream, which I ate like way too much of growing up. I don't get that now having tasted it more over the last few days. I don't, I don't get that. I don't know why I thought it tasted like that, but again, texture really, really good as well. Next, I think I tried the key lime, the toasted coconut key lime. Um, I'm an idiot and I didn't read toasted coconut on there. So pieces. I was a little confused when I opened it at first. I think you can see on my face. I'm like, what? Cause they're obviously pieces of something. I'm like, oh, I think it's graham cracker or something. No, it's toasted coconut. Yeah, that's really delicious. It tastes just like key lime and toasted coconut. I mean, all of these flavors, spoiler, they all taste exactly what they're supposed to taste like, which is nice because that's not something we always get with uh, non-dairy. I mean, I think that's changed over the, over the last couple of years or so now uh, when something says it's supposed to taste like something it does. But even still, I've had stuff that's like coconut based and it's supposed to be vanilla and it's like, yeah, I can really taste the coconut. But I don't get any coconut or cashew taste in this unless it's supposed to taste like coconut. Again, like the key lime is supposed to taste like key lime coconut. And it's 
it's delicious. And again, the texture is really nice. The next one, the blueberry cardamom. This one, I was didn't know how didn't know how I was gonna feel about this one because I don't think I've ever had that uh, flavor combination. I've had cardamom in um, dessert type things, vanilla and cardamom, that kind of thing, but I don't think I've ever had it with blueberry. It's good. It is really, really good. I love that combination. And again, the texture of this is really nice. The blueberry, you know, it tastes like real blueberry. It's not that fakey. Like what are those, those muffins? I think you can still buy them that have the little like blueberry pellets that you mix into the batter. I ate so much of that growing up. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, it doesn't taste like that at all. It tastes like real blueberry. Um, and again, with the cardamom, it's, man, it is super good. My partner actually was not a fan of this one because uh, as I've said before, he doesn't like the cashew taste and he said he could very clearly taste the cashew base in this one. I could not, I don't know what he's talking about, but uh, there you go. And that's four, right? Okay, yeah, so the last one, the peach maple pecan. Um, this one's not for me. It Number one, it doesn't have a whole lot of peach flavor. It's mostly just mapley and pecan. But even when I do get the peach, it's just not a combination that I like. I don't know, having had such amazing peaches growing up in the South and like picking peaches myself, I'm trying, I'm not being a snob or anything, but like peaches to me, I don't like them in anything. Honestly, I don't like peach pie, peach cobbler, uh, even like a peach parfait. Like that's all right. But I really, if a peach is good, I just want to eat the peach or like peach and blueberry, like a peach blueberry salad type thing. That's really delicious. But I don't know, just having it with the, the maple, which is really overpowering, I feel like, and the pecan, I just... I just want it to be all peach. I don't want to taste the maple. I don't want to taste the pecan. So that's just my thing. Um, I mean, I looked up, apparently this is a very common um, combination of stuff. And I feel like I have had peach and maple and maybe pecan before, um, but I probably just don't remember because I was like, I don't like it. I just want to have peaches. So yeah, I was pretty close on my guesses. I guessed beforehand what I thought my, my favorite, uh, you know, best to worst going left to right would be. Um, I was pretty close. The the coffee I liked less <laughs> than I thought I would. Um, but I think now, honestly, I would change that because I did that right after I just tried these. But having had more of these over the last few days, I think, honestly, I think I like the blueberry even better than the key lime. It It's so good. I really love that flavor combination. But yeah, the Bananas Foster is still my favorite. It's so good. And those little pieces of chocolate. Oh man, I love them so much. So I think the Bananas Foster, then the blueberry, then the key lime, then the coffee, and then the peach. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm sticking with that. But uh, yeah, I would recommend you try these unless you know, like if you know you don't like cardamom or you know you don't like key lime or something, obviously don't don't try it because it's going to taste like that. And you're not going to like it. Yeah. If you are interested in any of these flavors, try them out. I think they're really great. I think the texture is really nice and creamy and yummy. I don't think they taste like coconut or cashew or anything like that. They're expensive. Well, see, we bought them at Whole Foods and they were $5.99, but then we went to like a regular grocery store. They didn't have all the flavors. They had a couple of them, but they were way cheaper. Not only the regular price was cheaper, but they were on sale for like four something. They were way, way, way cheaper. But again, they didn't have all the flavors. So I don't know. They're, they're probably going to be a little bit expensive. Again, they're kind of selling this as like a special artsy type thing. So also the haagen flavors are now uh, not only in Target, they're in regular grocery stores as well. I just saw it in ours and it was on sale for super duper cheap. Again, that was a very expensive one at Target. I have a whole review on those on three of them. I didn't review the mocha one, but I did talk about it in some video recently. It's very, very good. Yeah, check those out too if you can. Or don't because it's just ice cream and it's not the best for you. And uh, I should probably eat less ice cream, but it's work. I mean, I'm just being productive by eating all this ice cream is what I'm saying. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Comments and questions down below. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that's cool. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. Oh, of course, let me know if you've tried any of these flavors and what you think about them. And I will have a new video very soon.